Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be replacing an outside light timer. We're going to replace it with a newer model. See that it comes with three wire nuts inside the unit itself, as well as detailed instructions and a quick install guide. Now the depth of these units, it's substantial, but it's pretty standard. You can see it's about the same as the old unit. A little bit narrower on the back but basically the same size. And they give you a warning sticker that you have to have, uh, of course, your breaker shut off before you can install this. And importantly, these newer units require the neutral, the white line. Now the instruction manual on these seems a bit daunting, but setup's actually not that bad. The basic wiring is down here. Assuming you have a single light, say an outside light that you wanna replace, and you have your load and your neutral coming into your junction box and you have your lead black and your neutral coming in at the other end and so what you're going to do is basically splice in the switch to the middle so if you have a regular switch in here a single pole switch for example these are probably already connected right through to that switch so the instructions for timer switch itself are going to be to connect the black or the hot line that comes into your junction box to the black line that goes to the programmable switch and then the neutral that's in your junction box you're going to connect to the white or neutral on the programmable timer and last you're going to have what's called the load which is the black line that comes from the light that's going to be spliced into the blue wire that goes to the programmable switch. Now if this is anything that you're uncomfortable with doing of course do not attempt this yourself and hire an electrician to do this for you. Okay once you made sure you have the power off to your breaker we're just going to unscrew the cover plate. Okay with the screws off we'll take off the cover plate. In our case here we have the switch on the left side of a double wide box. So I'm just going to loosen and remove. Once those screws are removed, you can pull the switch out from the box. I forgot now in this particular box, we've got limited space, so I had to tuck some wires behind the switch. So I'm actually going to remove this just so I have access to the back. Okay, so I've removed the other light switch here, and you can see the old switch has a red, I guess, for a three-way, but you'll see it similarly has a black and a blue for the line and the load. It also has a green for the ground, and then the white for the neutral. So your existing switch should have something similar, even if you have just a regular switch, unless it's a three-way. And our interior light here is a three-way, so that's why you see the red there. So we're going to disconnect these and I'm going to mark the two blacks uh, as the load and the line respectively so I remember which is which. Okay, so I've taken the black wire that goes out to the outside light that's going to attach to the blue on the timer switch and I've labeled it black out and load. Now we'll disconnect the rest of these wire nuts and do a final check of the circuit to make sure the power is off before we connect the new one. So final check to make sure that the power is out. We'll touch across, make sure we have no lights here. Same thing here, just to be safe. And to the other side. Okay, so power is off. Take the tape off the back. And you'll see each of these wires comes off and you can take off the already stripped ends as you make each connection. So we'll start with the neutral with the white. Pull that off. I'll wrap that around the existing twisted connection here and hold the wire up close to the end like that. And then we'll bring the wire nut back over that and tighten that down. Okay, once that's tight like that, just make sure that the connections are not loose. Now we'll connect the blue line for the load, which is the light switch itself. We'll wrap that around the copper wire and then put on the wire nut. Same thing, screw that in and make sure the connection is snug. And then last, we'll take the black line and bring in the black wire from the switch attach the wire nut and tighten it down. Same deal, 
make sure that the connection is snug and secure. Okay, so with the three connections made, we're gonna tuck these wire nuts back in to the junction box. So I've tucked in all the wire nuts and put them over to the right side because the depth of this switch is shallower and that gives me the maximum depth in the junction box to push the programmable switch in. So now we've got the interior single pole switch reconnected roughly where it should be. Make sure all the wires are out of the way and then we're going to attach the programmable switch here. Before you tighten down the programmable switch all the way, line up your cover plate and make sure that both switches fit within the holes and that the holes are lined up where they should be and then also that your plate is level. Now we'll reattach the cover plate with the same screws that we used before. Okay, with the cover plate reattached, we'll take off this protective cover here, and then we'll turn on the circuit breaker. Okay, now with the power back on, we can make sure that our light switch works, and we have to program the light switch itself. So press and hold for three seconds to enter mode, time, or control and program. So we're gonna arrow over once to time, and now we're gonna set 12 or 24 hour time, press enter. Now we're gonna set the actual time. So here we're gonna do seven, press enter, and then 42 p.m. and then press enter. Now we'll do the year. Enter, month, enter day, enter, and that's your time. Now, control, you can set for your screen brightness, low, high, or off. Daylight savings time, on is automatic, and then you can set your latitude and your longitude. Now, the instruction manual has a huge table for latitude and longitude for various cities, including any adjustments if necessary. Or you can just look yours up online and then input it manually. So we'll put in with no adjustment, and that's your settings for that. Now, program. According to the manual, if you leave it alone here, it will automatically turn on at sunset and shut off at 11 p.m., your time, or you can program it for something specific. So you would start here with program, and it would say program one of however many you want. The preset time will be the calculated sunset time for the latitude and longitude that you set. So if you're willing to keep that for each of the days of the week, you can say yes, hit enter, and then set your time if you want a different time. Otherwise, that's set. Now, arrow over. For program one off, you can have it go off at 11 p.m. or whatever time you want, and then set which days, hit enter, and make sure the time is what you want. If you're done, you can just press and hold to exit. Also, mode allows you to do the timer, manual switch, or random where it will vary the time that it turns on and off slightly to make it look less like a timer. We'll just leave it set on that, and then press the arrow and come back to turn the light on since it's 7.45 p.m. So this is what your display will look like when the timer's active, and then when the off time comes, It'll switch over to off, shut off the light, and this blue dot will go out. So that's how you install the Honeywell programmable light switch. Hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.